This is a levitating light bulb. And that's everything inside a levitating light bulb. In our office at Steam Squad. We finally see inside. Oh. I hate this vacuum. Here at Steam Squad office, we have so many cool toys that our students just love to play with. But by far, all of my students' favorite gadget in the office is this the Steam Squad levitating light bulb. The levitating light bulb appears to float in mid air. You can pass objects underneath it, all around it, and you can see that it is not interrupted at all. It just keeps on floating and spinning in the air. I can even place a wooden gear underneath and keep it there and the light bulb won't care. It seems like magic, but of course it's not. Today we are going to take a look inside to try and understand how does this marvel of engineering work. The first clue to how our levitating light bulb works is what happens when I drop metal objects on the base. You can see they are stuck in place. Surely we will find a magnet inside. You can see that when we knock the light bulb off of its center position, it sticks to the base as well. And if I push it around on the base, it seems to want to stay in this ring shape. You can see here, it wants to move in a circle around the base like that. So I'm thinking inside we are going to find a very big donut shaped magnet. But there's only one way to find out. Let's take it apart. I'm going to plug it out from the power first. And on the back I can see we have one, two, three, four different screws. Using my screwdriver I can unscrew those screws. One. With those screws off, now I turn the whole base over and pull on the top and we can see very carefully the inside of our levitating light bulb. I can see a lot of different things. First of all, we have a big iron magnet ring, just as I expected, going all the way around. This ring is going to be the primary magnet which is going to balance the light bulb. But that's not the only magnet inside. I can also see one, two, three, four powerful electromagnets. By controlling the electricity to these electromagnets, the base is able to control the magnetic field above its surface. These electromagnets are what are holding our light bulb in position. When it's powered on, a magnetic field is being generated from these electromagnets and from this big ring magnet. And together, they are holding the light bulb in place. They are so strong that even if I push it slightly, they will just pull it back into place. But how does it get electricity? We know that electricity travels through wires, like the wire connected to the base here. This light bulb is not connected to anything. So how does it get electricity? Well, that's where this big copper coil comes in. This copper coil is inducing a current inside the base of the light bulb. It is essentially wirelessly transferring electricity to the light bulb. It does this by creating its own magnetic field, which is carefully controlled to interact with another coil inside the light bulb. Using this, 
the base is able to induce a current in the light bulb, making electricity. We've seen inside the base, which levitates our light bulb, but what's happening inside the light bulb itself? First of all, I can see we have one, two, three LED filaments. You can see my one is a little bit broken after all the video shooting we did today. Let's try and open up the light bulb. So I'm gonna take my pliers here and gently twist it and see if I'm able to get inside. Our LEDs are connected just using these two copper wires here. And then down here, it looks like we have a magnet. We're going to have to go deeper. Don't try this at home. That magnet is so strong. You're very nervous right now, right? Oh, my face is very awkward. <laughs> Don't worry, we're not gonna break your face. Approximately 10 hours later. <sighs> we have it. Okay. That took a lot of effort, but inside the base of the light bulb, there are four incredibly strong magnets. These magnets are so hard to separate. There we go. So those are the magnets that are responsible for its levitating. But if I go just a little deeper inside, there's one more thing to see. Ta-da! Now, this is the all-important induction coil. This is how the electricity transfers wirelessly from the base to the light bulb. These magnets will be levitating, floating in the air above the base, holding this copper coil in place here. This big copper coil creates a magnetic field which inducts an electric current in this copper coil which travels up into our now broken LEDs. If you would like me to take apart some other stuff or you have any ideas for future videos, leave them in a comment below. Other than that, Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you next time.